Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Hope everyone is doing amazing. All right, guys, so we're going to get into another meeting. Let's see what comes out. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you guys have your notification bell on so you'll know when I go live or post readings to the channel, okay? Spirit angels, guys, divine ancestors, I call upon you now to join me in this reading to bring clarity and truth to Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please protect my energy as I open this portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits away from our home, channel, and sacred space. Return the energy back to sender. Tenfold. So would it be. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. Let's get into it, guys. <clears throat> what do we have for Scorpio? Channel message reading for Scorpio. What's the energy? Thank you. All right, so we got stubborn here. And you see there's a mule or a donkey. The stubborn card talks about being bossy, selfish, and inflexible. So, of course, you know, we are fixed signs. So this can be your energy. You may come off to someone very stubborn, like you not willing to bend over backwards. Maybe a little bossy, a little selfish. This could be you or someone else, okay? All right, so let's talk about it. All right, tell us about stubborn. Clarify stubborn for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is this stubborn energy? And of course, you know, someone can feel this way about you or you feel this way about someone. You may feel like they're selfish, they're stubborn, coming off a little bossy, not willing to compromise or go the extra mile. Tell me about stubborn. Oh, so Ten of Swords flipped out first. Tell me more. Mm. Thank you. Will of Fortune. Oh, fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Hmm. Scorpio, I feel like this is you. You may be in this stubborn energy because you've been hurt. You've been betrayed, lied to, backstabbed. This really changed you. This changed your outlook on life. This changed your outlook with people. This just changed you all together. I feel like this pain, this experience that you went through was a catalyst to you making a change in your life. So you may not want to give in or be flexible with anyone because of all the things that you experience. Yeah. All right. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and Stubborn. And sometimes when you go through a lot of pain, hurt, betrayal, it definitely can change you, change your outlook, change your energy. Tell me about Ten of Swords. All right. Nine of Wands. Yeah. So that's why I said I feel like this is you. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of storms, challenges, obstacles. You've been brave through so many different things. You've been through hell and high waters. So you're very guarded right now. Maybe coming off a little fragile. That's all because of everything and all the obstacles you went through. Tell me um, more about the Ten of Swords for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You went through a lot of adversaries, but the thing, the best thing about it is you're still standing after everything you experience. Oh, thank you. All right, so the emperor. So yeah, you may be coming off a little harsh. The emperor can be stubborn to an extent. You're basically trying to take back control of your life. For my women, you're kind of tapping more into your masculine energy. You're trying to discipline yourself after everything you've been through. I feel like this built you to be kind of not only just stubborn and bossy, but kind of like hard as a rock. Like your shell, your outer shell is very hard. You choose not to show any emotions anymore, even though you have them. But you're bossing up in your life. You are taking back control after everything you went through. Hmm. Someone is watching you in silence. 
could be a Pisces. Yeah. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. You may have Aries in your chart, Scorpio, male or female. What is the Wheel of Fortune when it comes to stubborn? Yeah, a lot of things have changed you. And I just sense your energy of, I refuse to let anyone take me through that again. I'm taking back control of my life. This may have taught you discipline, loyalty to yourself. Hmm. I also feel like this emperor could be an ancestor that's watching you or shielding and protecting you after all the things you've been through. Hmm. Or, of course, God. But, of course, the God is within us. So you may just have a particular ancestor or the universe just representing you. And they're like, it's almost like this emperor is standing in front of you, you know, kind of being your shield and your guard. And I also feel like during all your trials and tribulations, hurt and pain, God has already has always been there for you. So you're coming off as a stubborn mood, like you're not willing to be flexible to anyone. You're being selfish about you because you have went through so much. What is the will of fortune and stubborn? You may have the letter A, the letter T, the letter R, or the letter O. First, middle, or last initial. Or that can represent the person that causes change to happen in your life. Thank you. So you have Aries energy again, the fool. Wow. Mm. The changes that are happening in your life is pushing you to have a new beginning. Some of you guys may be ready to start over. If you've been praying or manifesting for some type of change, maybe relocation or just a new chapter, I feel like that's what's needed in your life right now. Everything is turning in your favor. But it's going to all turn at the right time. Tell me more, Wheel of Fortune. It's like you're embarking on a new journey, a new chapter. You're being free, even more free. Yeah, something to do with an Aries. I don't know, this is a father figure, an ancestor. All right, it's a masculine energy here that's here for you. Hmm. The Ten of Swords and the Reverse. Something may have happened in a family situation, may have felt like your family fell apart or feeling like family is not family. Maybe you had a marriage that fell apart, but you went through some losses. 10, 10 here. A lot of some things have had to end for new beginnings to happen. So this ending that you experienced with a family, maybe you lost a house, car, maybe I lost a job, your business didn't go correctly. You're now going into a different direction. It's like this was the catalyst for you to have a new beginning. So kind of going back to what I always say, your pain turned into your power. This change, whatever happened, was meant to happen. Yeah. Yeah. You could have been in a toxic marriage, relationship, or just connected to unhealthy people. Somehow, maybe a karmic family that some of you guys may have had to cut off, cut out of your life. Yeah. And so you chose to take this action and take the passion and chemistry that you have for yourself. Or not only just the chemistry, but you started really focusing on you. You took action to stand up for you. Some of you guys could have even moved away and possibly bought you a new home for some of you. Or you're just moving into more happier moments. Maybe you felt like this family or this relationship wasn't serving you and you needed to be free. Yeah. Wow. All right. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Hold on, y'all. So you guys can see everything here. All right, tell me about the Nine of Wands. You've been through a lot, Scorpio. Wow, yeah. The star. I don't know why I'm getting, for some of you, you may have been afraid of this healing journey, afraid of 
how it works, the process of it. You may have not known if you were really ready to really tap into that side of you, to really come fully naked to God, to the universe, your ancestors, and really just bear all of your worries and troubles and pain. It was time though. You needed to heal. You needed to cleanse your energy, do core cutting, look to the stars for hope and faith and how to, and basically to renew your energy. It was time for you to pour into you. Tell me about the emperor. You may have Aquarius in your chart. Everything you've been through is time. I feel like it's time for you to heal. And healing is definitely a journey. There's no ending to healing. All right, page of pentacles. I feel like this is an ancestor or someone representing you in the universe that's guiding you to this fresh start, this new beginning for yourself. There may have been a lot of things you needed to unlearn and relearn as you go on this spiritual journey for healing from all the pain and the hurt that you went through. You're starting over fresh. I also feel like this emperor is a higher power that may have sent a spirit guide or a particular angel to you to help you get, get back on your feet, start over. And some of you guys could have been manifesting. And maybe one part of your manifestation has came to light. Yeah. But definitely, it, it was time for you to cut off toxic people, toxic family members, toxic connections, unhealthy ways. But as you was going through this healing journey and starting over and unlearning and relearning things, you there are some things you had to cut out. You had to be more logical with things, kind of move out of your heart space into your mind space you brought you know it's kind of like bringing justice to yourself yeah all right what is the fool card yeah i feel like this is one of the universe's spirit guides or angels that was sent to you to help you heal to help you start over hmm what is the full card for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yep, I cannot make this up, y'all. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. You needed to. You needed a new start, a new chapter. It was time for you to educate yourself on the spirit realm, get closer to God, closer to your ancestors and angels. It was that time. You needed this fresh start again. This pain was your turning point into a new beginning but you had to leave someone or something family relationship whatever it was or either a job or something that you were attached to you had to leave that behind you had to free yourself from that yeah so that's where you can have more clarity you can see things differently your mind is clear more wisdom more understanding you may now understand why this had to happen but going back to the overall energy, stubborn, that's just who we are. We're stubborn. We are a fixed sign. You're just in that energy because of all you went through. But now it's time to free yourself. It's time to heal from all the pain, the hurt, the adversaries, the obstacles you went through. But you're scared. You're hurt. You're broken. And now it's time to turn to the universe for healing. Yeah. This whole time, you may have been a star seed the whole time. Mm -hmm. What is the Ten of Swords in the reverse for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah, I feel like your ancestors put you in a place where you needed to be free. Start over. Be yourself. Yeah, the Temperance. Sagittarius. I feel like in divine timing, this relationship or family dynamic or whatever this was that happened, it was going to fall apart. But that was a challenge. A challenge you had to face. Hmm. This angel, I feel like this angel here was assigned to this household, this marriage, relationship, business. It was going to fall apart in divine timing. I also feel like by this situation falling apart or not working out in your favor was also already orchestrated in the cards for you. That was not to hurt you. It was to help you to get back to you. You may have put so much time and energy into other people, your family, mother, father, sister, brother, 
ex-husband, ex-wife, just so many other things, your businesses. But that was not, not in the cards for you, not that situation. And that's why I fell apart. This angel was watching over this whole thing. They knew that the change needed to happen for you. They, they wanted you to be free. This need The cookie needed to crumble. The betrayal needed to happen. The universe knows that you've been through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. But they want you to use this as your stepping stool to use that pain as your power again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Slowly but surely, you needed to move away from everything you're so comfortable with. Sometimes when we're used to a certain way of living, thinking, people from our past, friends from our past are used to what we see as familiar. Sometimes you have to get away from that. But if for some of you, it may take a while. Take your time on this journey, especially with this Knight of Pentacles. Take your time. Don't rush it. Take day by day, little by little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because good things are coming your way. It's all working out for you. It is. This is the year of the eight. Remember, 2024 equals the number eight.